National Guard troops patrolled New York City's Grand Central Terminal and Penn Station on Thursday after New York Governor Kathy Hochul said she would deploy 750 soldiers from the state's National Guard to help the NYPD check commuters' bags in the city's busiest subway stations. Anyone looking to do harm or spread fear on our subways, you will be caught, plain and simple. The goal, according to Hochul, is to deter crime. She announced the deployment on Wednesday in response to recent high-profile assaults on commuters and transit workers. This has to end. New Yorkers deserve no less. And to those who are feeling anxious whenever they walk through those turnstiles, we will stop at nothing to keep you safe. Despite police data showing that crimes on the subway are down about 15 percent in February compared to the same month in 2023, Hochul said commuters are still not reassured by, quote, rattling off crime statistics. New York City residents offered mixed opinions about the National Guard's presence in the subway. I don't think it's necessary for the National Guard to be in the subways. I mean, there are people who are targeting certain people, like a gang member or someone has a, a beef with someone. But National Guard, no. We have the police there. They're fine. I think it would kind of deter some things that have been happening. I've certainly noticed a difference in crime in subways, particularly, that even have me as an NYPD employee fearful of my safety. The National Guard, a military force jointly controlled by federal and state leaders, does not have arrest powers, but will help police officers who do. Joining the effort will be an additional 250 officers from the New York State Police and the state-controlled Metropolitan Transportation Authority Police.